Good evening, YouTube. It's your guy, Dre Crew, to you. Coming back at you with another YouTube video here on the evening of August 16th, 2021. I had a story over the past week that caught my attention. Another athletic-related story. I know you guys see me do a few stories on athletes already. But this one really caught my attention. And it's for an athlete who... Is one of these guys that probably had his head filled up so big that he kind of overestimated his value and really has become a punching bag on social media uh, because of it. Uh, this gentleman by the name of Dennis Schroeder is a, a point guard uh, for the NBA. He's played in the NBA for the, for the past seven eight years. And the only reason I'm even doing a, a story on Dennis Schroeder is not only because of his epic fail, yeah, uh, well, it's because that he also is a player that uh, played for, played for the team that I used to follow, but I really don't follow now, called the Atlanta Hawks. They drafted him, I believe, back in 2013, and, and he was a guy. His story was kind of interesting, interesting in that he was of German descent. I mean, you don't see too many brothers that are German, at least from what I know. And I think he had played in professional leagues overseas before he got a chance to play with Atlanta, and they finally drafted him in 2013. And you can see early in his career that Dennis Schroeder had ability, but he's one of those guys who kind of couldn't put it together. You know, he you know he would have games, good games here and there, but he was kind of erratic with his shooting and his decision making skills. But either way, he's managed his way through a seven year career, and this past season, uh, he he played for the Los Angeles Lakers, and there was an issue that came up you know, with the Lakers in terms of their future uh, after, the, after the conclusion of this season. As we all know, you know, they have, you know, uh, you know, everybody's probably at least the NBA's most known player, LeBron James. Uh, they have Anthony Davis, you know, another incredibly talented player. And they just brought another player in, but it wasn't Dennis Schroeder. And I'm going to mention that like in the next uh, a little bit here, if you just kind of sit here with me through this video. Uh, as I said, Dennis Schroeder managed to play his way uh, to a seven- or eight-year career so far through the NBA, and he's still relatively young. He's only like 28, 29 years old. And um, like I said, he might not jump out to you as a, as a known player for the NBA, but just because this story here, he might be jumping out to you right now. <laughs> Um, as everybody knows, this past year, um, the NBA, uh, was really kind of ravaged by injuries to star players. There were a lot of guys hurt. The LeBron James himself was kind of in and out of the lineup. So was Anthony Davis. Uh, and that's just the name of a few players. I mean, if you watch the playoffs, uh, that wrapped up with the Milwaukee Bucks winning, even their star player, Yanis, and I can't even pronounce his last name. He got hurt during the series with the Hawks. I mean, they still were able to work past that in, in terms of the Milwaukee Bulls being able to work past that and get to an NBA championship. But they were just an example of how weird this season has been. There were a lot of guys who got injured who, who are notable in that league. But either way, uh, because of the injuries to both Braun, I believe, and Anthony Davis, the Lakers just, you know, they, they, they really didn't do anything in the postseason, you know, you know or whatnot. You know, they, they just kind of limped their way through the season. And... Um, what happened as a result was that, you know, Magic Johnson kind of voiced his frustration, you know, in regard to this. For all you know, for all you, you people out there, you probably know Magic Johnson. He was a former Lakers player back in the 80s and early 90s. And, you know, he's he's been both an analyst on TV, you know, in terms of covering the NBA. And I think he's had various roles within the Lakers organization from an employment standpoint. I think he's maybe in the president of, of basketball operations. And this past year, uh, at the conclusion of the Lakers season, Magic voiced his frustration with seeing how the Lakers performed. In particular, he voiced his frustration with Dennis Schroeder. He he came out and he said, and, I, and again, I'm paraphrasing it, to him, Dennis Schroeder was not a winner. He wasn't a guy that knew how to come through and clutch points in basketball games. And that he just seemed like he just wasn't good enough to get the job done. 
And that kind of made headlines because if the guy who's associated with your team comes out and says that, that could spell your doom with that team. Either way, over the past few weeks to a month, Dennis Schroeder was still uh, thought of enough, at least by the Lakers, to where they offered him a four-year, $84 million contract. If you do the math, was that about $21, $22 million a year? You know, he was, he, was, uh, he, he could have still pulled in with the Lakers. Even though Magic Johnson came out and said those words about it, they still offered him that, that level of a contract. And keep in mind, I said Dennis Stroder had been in the league for several years already. And he came in to play, I believe, five years with the Hawks. And I think he went somewhere for maybe a year or two. Then he came to play with the Lakers. Uh, and he just kind of been, like I said, erratic to me as a player. And 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 to me, to be honest, not worth an $84 million contract. But that just shows you how the NBA is. I mean, they can really overvalue guys' talent and just really overpay them to the point where it's, it's just kind of ridiculous, you know, in terms of what these guys can make. And as you saw, uh, probably online of what I just said, they still thought of Dennis enough to where they offer him an $84 million contract. Well, after talking with his agent, Dennis Schroeder uh, made a move that's kind of made him the, a punching bag on the internet. <laughs> They basically told the Lakers, uh, you know, I think, you know, uh, I, he basically kind of was betting on himself. He said, I think I'm worth more than $84 million. I'm talking with my agent. I'm going to get out here in the free agent market and see what I can get in terms of him being able to even pull in more money. Because there are reports that Dennis thought that he could reel in $100 to $120 million contract. Well, <laughs> the Lakers... Uh, who didn't want to sit around there and wait for him to pick and choose, were like, you know, we're going to bring in a guy who we know is proven. I mean, a guy who, at least over the past couple of years, he may have been kind of sketchy, but he's been a proven, you know, talent in this league. It's, it's been a, a top-shelf talent. Russell Westbrook. For anybody who's followed Westbrook's career, uh, he's played for the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Houston Rockets, and uh, the Washington Wizards. And Westbrook is a proven talent. I mean, he's spectacular. Even though Westbrook has been known to be kind of a little difficult to get along with from a personality standpoint, if you watch the NBA over the past decade, you should know who Russell Westbrook is. He's a, he's a spectacular level talent. Way better than Dennis Schroeder. So the Lakers probably came out better in this deal by getting Russell Westbrook, depending upon how his attitude is going to be this upcoming year. And they didn't need Dennis Schroeder to come back and play point guard. They basically said, sir, uh, we got something way better than what you were talking about, or what you showed us rather so far. Uh, you know, may you have good travels. Here's your exit. Well, Dennis Schroeder's been there for the past few weeks, and he couldn't really find anybody who could suit his fancy. He wasn't even willing to find he, – he wasn't even lucky enough to find a team who was willing to match the Lakers' $84 million offer. This dude ended up signing a one-year $5.9 million contract. I'm going to let that sink in. One year, $5.9 million. When you had a four-year $84 million contract on the table from a team that already had LeBron James and Anthony Davis. I've seen some stuff be fumbled in my life, but this is going to be near the top of the line, especially in sports. This is one of the craziest moves I've ever seen. I mean, if if you look up, <laughs> you know, uh, the phrase falling flat on your face probably somewhere, then the shoulder should, be, should have a picture of that. Uh, right next to him. That's where he is. He's an idiot. He's a guy <laughs> that has been just solid at times. I mean, solid throughout his career, but not really over, overly good or worth seventy and eighty four million dollar contract offer. He ain't been that good to me. And he got to thinking of him so himself so much. Keep in mind, uh, to my knowledge, I don't think he's been to an all-star game yet. See, I mean, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but he's never been to an all-star game. But yet, he still 
had an $84 million contract offer. I don't understand what world his mind was in. He just be around, he must just be around cats that just maybe, you know, yes men trying to just always tell him he's better than what he is. And if and since this happened, Dennis Schroeder may need to evaluate who he has around him. If I were Dennis Schroeder, I don't know whether he has a he has the same agent right now or not. Uh number one, if he does, he's an idiot. Number two, I'll probably do three things with my agent following this epic bungling. Number one is fire him. Number two, if we were to run into each other, I probably would fight him. Number three, I would exercise that block option on my cell phone and tell him never to call me again as I'm hiring new representation. I I, I mean, I'm trying to think of something I've seen that, that's this epic of a, of, a, of a money dip in terms of contractual offers and contractual signing. This got to be at top of them. This guy's a big dummy. And he is getting it all over social media as he deserves it. Sir, uh, I mean, I know you're German. I don't know if your English is bad or whatever, but <laughs> you need to reevaluate some things or something like that and learn the language of common sense. Because common sense should have told you, man, I probably ain't worth that $84 million. But it's out there, which is already unbelievable. I mean, I, I had a guy, Magic Johnson, uh, tell me that I'm not a winner, but the team still offered me $84 million. And I blew it. I mean, I don't know if he want these young cats out here who, who like to get high. I mean, I would have somebody to ask him that. He would kind of, you know, investigate that, see what he was smoking some drugs or something, because Dennis Schroeder's an idiot. This is an epic fail of epic proportions. I've, I've never seen this. Let me say this. For Dennis Schroeder, there is a silver lining. And there's a silver lining with the team he signed with, the Boston Celtics. Dennis Schroeder should use this as an opportunity to sort of reevaluate his thinking and say, I need to go out there and I need to bust my behind this season and play like I deserve an $84 million contract. He should come out and be willing to score like 20 and 10 this year, 20 and 15, somewhere in there. I mean, he should be playing his butt off to the point where he had, he makes some other team probably overstate his talent and and offer him that same you know uh bag again because good god of my boy, boy this was an epic family but again it could turn to you know gold for the Celtics because they got a player who at least was overvalued who has potential but he hasn't really played up to that potential consistently throughout his career and so hopefully they ought to get a hell of a season out of him. And he all say to himself, man, I, I, I gotta erase that memory, man. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta play like I deserve a hundred million again. Either way, I hope this is a lesson for a lot of, uh, you know, uh, NBA, NFL, NHL, <laughs> MLB hopefuls to sort of be realistic about where your talent is and not to overestimate your ability. You don't need to always bet on yourself like that, especially when you don't, you don't really have, um, you know, too many rings to show for in terms of championships. Uh, no all-star uh, selections to be seen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you need to, you know, reevaluate where you at in the market because you may be the next uh, big dummy who may uh, have a picture beside the phrase falling flat on your face like Dennis Schroeder. She got J. Crew to you. Uh, wrapping up another YouTube video here. Uh, if you like the content, click the like button. You can also hit the subscribe button if you want, you want to see more content out the channel. Thank you. Have a great day.